that's not because we've done. We're really, but yeah. All right. So Nas is Nas have the PowerPoint because I don't. She's gonna start sharing her screen. Well, I don't have PowerPoint. Oh, you for you guys. Today is gonna be all talk. We've got one image. Wow. Now we want you to share. We want to keep it simple. So I want to quickly share. This is the image done by our lovely Candice. You know, she's just a lifesaver. <laughs> our tech girl. All right, you guys. So I'm going to cover quickly one simple funnel system here. That you. This is all you need to know when it comes to really. This is this is all you need to know when it comes to marketing. I'm going to just minimize this. So if you have any questions as I'm going, just comment. Put them in the chat. We'll have a look once I'm done. Then I could see I could see the questions and and then we'll, we'll go over that. So. Okay, so basically what we are doing is we are marketing, not to do anything else, not to look so good and all of this and selfies and all this. We want to generate leads, okay? We, every content we put out, every post, every video, not every, maybe, you know, a good percentage of, but at least one piece of content per day should be on purpose for leads, right? So if you're doing Facebook Lives, which a lot of people are doing Facebook Lives, if they're not generating leads, if they're not going through um, this funnel, if you like, they're not making money. They're not signing people up, right? Now, there's the other way of doing this where there's no marketing going on. You're probably pitching people or prospecting actively, and there's no backup, backup right? We want to we do this so that you get, your prospects get to see you without you physically showing them what you do, which is your one-to-ones, without you being there, so on automation. This is what we're gonna call a funnel, which is on automation, okay? And this is a system you need to master, okay? When you're posting, whether you go on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or your blog, you are basically putting up content to bring in traffic. So all your friends or your audience that's checking you out, right? Some of them will be your targeted audience. They will opt in to your capture page or become your leads. Um, they are people that are interested in what you have, okay? Now, that will only happen when you post relevant content, which is, which is the first, if you go back to Candice's first video, then move on to the next one where we talk about your purpose, we talk about your brand. If your content is not relevant, you're gonna attract crazy amounts of leads right it's not going to be relevant to you so you've got to pick your audience like what kind of said yesterday pick your audience who you want to work with it doesn't have to be everybody it just has to be a group of audience that you want to work with your content should be aimed to attract them okay you need to capture their details so you've got to get have a sort of a giveaway okay and when we're you when we're going to leads the yellow section if somebody has to say, well, to, you know, when, when somebody opts into your page or your cap, your lead magnet, they are saying they need either whatever you've got, right? It might be you've got, you know, if you're in health or wellness, you might have five recipes that boost metabolism, um, five ways of working out in 10 minutes, right? Something like that aimed at young mums that are busy and working and, and have, you know, families to look after. Whatever your target audience is, you've got to develop a lead magnet that could be a video that could be a PDF document could be an ebook it could be anything that they have to exchange their details for with and they will get that PDF video whatever it is that you want to give them okay your main focus at this process is filtering people out not every lead is going to be a prospect but what you're doing is you are making sure that when people opt in, they are given some form of education to then move on to the next stage. Okay, so for example, you'll have maybe thousands in on your Facebook profile. Okay, we'll, just, we'll stick with Facebook profile. Okay, a certain amount of those people are going to be targeted, your targeted audience that are wanting to become your lead. Okay, so if, they, if you do a call to action, like what Candice said yesterday, and you give away a lead magnet, a percentage of those people are your are looking for the solution that you've got, right? You are going to be educating them, okay? You are qualifying them to then become your prospects. So this is where the green part comes, okay? And this is where you need a CRM, 
okay, which is a customer relationship manager, right, which is basically they opt in, you get to see the name, and you get to build a relationship with them and document that. Because a lead is, is no good if, you, if you've got no system to follow up, right? I've generated leads in the past, hundreds, and I did not have a system to follow up with, hence I made no sales. This is two years ago, right? So you need to have a CRM, some form of a CRM, where you can track conversations with your prospect. Not every prospect is ready to buy, but you know that you know, they, they're hot prospects, okay? Or they will buy at some point, right? And that could be through your email marketing as well. You are engaging your audience through emails and even conversations on Messenger, okay? Through your communication skills, when you're talking to your leads, i.e. prospects, that's when you'll get sales and signups, right? What we're doing here is we are not chasing people. We are putting out content, right? We are attracting our targeted audience. They opt in to what we have to give them um, our lead magnet, right? Whatever that is, lead video, PDF. They then go through the funnel, become prospects, and sign up or buy, okay? Do you guys understand this? So far, I want to hear yes or no. Put in the chat room on. if you guys understand this so far. Put in the chat room. And as I'm, I'm going through, you know, waiting for you guys to respond, I, I, I like to um, remind some of you. Some of you are, most of you are in network marketing industry, and you understand that in network marketing industry, a lot of time we were told that it takes about seven touches before someone make a commitment. So that's why it's very crucial for you to have a system to put those people out. When they first come in, they don't make the move. That's why you need to have your CRM system so you can keep track of those people. And those people who are not ready to make a move, that's why they go back to filter out. That's why you need the auto, auto responder. You need to have a email system. You need to be able to to consistently provide value for them so that you won't, you know, a lot of people, they start with one conversation with somebody and that person did not make the move, that was the end of it. But you need to have a system for you to keep going back and, and, and providing value over and over again. And then one day that will happen. Now that, that would, after they have been exposed to, to what you share with them, eventually, it will happen to them, okay? They will make a move. Absolutely. So this is where you are only speaking to targeted people. Now, we've got four types of lead magnets to go through. Um, two are very different, and one are similar. One type of lead magnet is similar, mine and Candice's. But even then, it's very different. Do you set up an automated email through a web address? You can do. You can do uh, once we teach you to do it manually you can do it on automation especially if you're on facebook to begin with um that's where you're going to be building your rapport that's where you that's where you'll be engaging with your audience but you can do automation as well all right you guys do you want me to go on to the lead magnets i've got yes yeah, yeah. Why, why don't you go ahead and go with the lead magnets? we're going to start sharing you the lead magnets Okay, now I'm gonna share with you my one of my friends' lead magnet. Now there's there's some of you guys here, ladies here actually that are in the makeup and skincare niche. So I'm gonna just pull out this lead magnet, and this is pretty much the only one I've seen in in, in the makeup niche. And Julie is also part of our marketing system that we use, so she's got access to these tools. Now she has very much branded her page as somebody who is an expert in the makeup niche she's she studied her audience which is you know possibly women who are who wear makeup right and i might or might go wrong when it comes to um you know i don't know the foundations or lipstick colors or whatever it is okay so she is she's developed a free ebook download okay that will solve the problem that's mentioned here okay so a little bit on, on the lead magnet tagline is, I do you find applying makeup a little bit nervous? 
uh, nerve wracking, maybe you're not sure something is the right trade for you, or perhaps you've bought a brush set and have no idea how to use it. So she's basically educating her target audience to become better at applying makeup. Hold on, Nas, um, can you share the screen? We yeah, can you see it? No. Oh, okay. You need to stop sharing. Let me see what I'm doing wrong. Okay. Can you see it now? Give us a sec. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So this is Julie's. Yeah, this is Julie's um, page. And she's obviously in the makeup niche. She's in an MLM. It's a very popular MLM. You probably, there's probably a couple of people here that are in that MLM as well. But when you see Julie's branding, she's educating her audience. I mean, straight away, I mean, let me just get rid of this. And you can see that, you know, she's branded herself as an expert in the makeup niche. She's already got knowledge, like most of you guys have in your own niches. She's not hiding it. She's giving it away, okay? Um, and she'll talk about self-confidence now and then. She'll talk about whatever her passion is when it comes to women and makeup. And um, I believe it's women that she's, she's targeting. I don't want to sound sexist here. But that's, that's her passion. So every time you'll see, I mean, if you have a look here, this is a pinned post on her page, she'll give away her ebook, right? She's, she wants to get a whole lot of people. I mean, she's got 4,900, almost 5,000 likes. So she is diverting, not diverting as such, but bringing in a, a chunk of that audience to her ebook. So she's directing them to the ebook so they become leads, more qualified leads. Now I'm going to take you through to her ebook and uh, hopefully I'll get my email out for you to see. Okay, we can't see it. Because she's probably fixing this. Hopefully she isn't going to take too long. Or maybe I have got an old one. Or maybe she needs to update this. <laughs> Probably she have to update that that uh that link. Yeah, so that was an old one maybe. I think I'm gonna tell her update. It was a pinned post. So this is a new one because I haven't even seen this one myself. So she's basically studied her audience. This is why we went and um we, we want you to really get good on getting to know your audience more than the ingredients in your products. Well, ingredients are important, but don't avoid thinking about your audience and get too busy thinking about the ingredients because you can always access that information. But once you figure out what your audience wants and where their mistakes are, where their problems lie, where their challenges lie, you can create a solution, okay? So she's obviously seen common, common mistakes that people have when they um, wear makeup. She's done a PDF on that. So if I'm not confident, we're applying makeup and I love makeup and maybe I've got to pay for a makeup artist, which it costs a lot of money, Money in England, it's about eighty pound per per session, if I like, if you like. And if I want to save money, and if I if I'm not confident in applying makeup, then I'm going to opt into this book, this ebook, and figure out how I can put on better makeup. Okay, so she is, you know, educating her child audience on making the best of their skills when it comes to makeup. And a lot of women here, they just buy a chunk of makeup, they don't know how to apply. Okay, now. If I was to opt in here, you'll see I would get the ebook e in my inbox. Okay, <laughs> right. So typically, and I've been through a similar funnel like this that she had previously. I would go into the, this page and she would do a video you where she would tell mine? me a little bit about her own story. Eh? You want me to show my? My is a similar format. Yeah. Hang on. Okay, you show me yours. Let me just stop sharing. Stop so I'm going to show you guys my, one of my PDF files. Most of you got that PDF file. So I'm going to show you mine so you can get to see. If you're doing ebook or you're doing um, an a, a ebook or something. So this is one of my 20 killer posts to boost engagement. This is a very simple one. I don't want to make it too complicated. So it's a very simple, a simple form. And um, when you put... So if I put my name and email address in and everything, it will take you to the next page. And this is the, the, the type of format that Nas was trying to show you. Basically, when you get in, I don't give them the PDF file here. I actually have a video. And you don't have to listen to my video, truly. Don't. Hey, my name is Sam. 
basically I introduce myself. This is how you brand yourself. You introduce yourself with the video and you introduce what else is coming up if you're working on something or how they can contact you. And then you could actually link this to something else. So I basically offering a free course with this lead magnet here. And if they click on this link here, it will take them actually to a free uh, access to free courses. I mean, not free courses. This is access to the system. Anyway, so after I did this, it actually go the lead magnets. I actually will get the lead magnet to my email. So they will see. Once I opted in, it will take me, I should check my email and uh, it should be there. And he, here it is. So it will take me there and give me, it, it does give me the link to download. So I click on it, it will actually come up with a PDF file that I promised you that I was gonna give you. This is my 20 kilo post. Most of you already have this, right? So this is a way of branding yourself, showing your, 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 your expertise. If you are in makeup or if you are someone who's in the health and wellness and you have recipe to show, you could definitely take some picture of the photo, write down the recipe and share those type of stuff, okay? So that's what's a lead magnet for, okay? And what's going to happen is that when I opted in, when I put my contact information in, we talk about, you know, when people opted in, it will actually go to what we call a customer relationship management, which we have here. It will actually go there. And then I have an email system that I actually send out to people. Like this is, this is, I already opted in, so you won't see my name, but I don't want to show people's information. But you will be able to actually see everything that is sent out and, and you could actually contact follow up with your people with this system okay now so you want me to go ahead and share the next one that i have yeah all right so most of you do not know what mrm company i'm in and i'm going to show you this is how and this is another funnel that if you are leading so we talk about most of you probably hear us talking about ask you a question about are you leading with your product or are you leading with Hold on one second. Are you leading with your product or are you leading with your opportunity? So what I just show you with my uh, 20 kilo post, I was leading with opportunity. I was showing you my leadership, how I, know, how I could teach you how to build a home business from home. This lead magnet here is very much a leading with product. So if you have a product, you could totally create a funnel for your product as well. So this is one from my friend. This is a, a leading with product. It's a simple one. She did a video. This is like a commercial video. It's very, you know, very good. I'm not going to play the whole video here because it's, you know, it's long. And she basically talked about little, the, the video that she's talking about is the problem that, she, that people are facing with electronics. And then at the end, the call to action is, if you want to learn how to solve this problem, enter your name information. So I will enter my information in there. Then it, it should take me to the next page. Oh, this, she have to double opt in. So I have to go back in, sorry. I have to go in and change that. Sometimes they, people have double opt in so that they want you to confirm that you did, um, you did opt in something. So let me see. But that's how you could create your funnel and with the double opt in, that's just an extra step. You don't have to add that, but she has this. No, this is not working. I didn't see her send it here. But I'm gonna show you what the video looks like. Actually, I could actually pull it up. So after you pull up, after I put in the information, the next page that I see is this one. No, this is the first one. You're about to dis mm, where's the second page? I think this is all the same page, but she does have a second page. Maybe I didn't. Oh, there you go. I clicked the wrong one, probably. 
Nope. So I couldn't see her second page here. Because she had that double up in. Yourself in radiation. We've created a free PDF report for you that explains the... Oh, there you go. It works now. Attention smartphone users. There's a special message for every smartphone user. So who needs this to is it. Truth about now, what I'm going to tell you is that the way that she does this video is so brilliant. She set it to a timer at exactly when, I don't know, I don't remember what minutes, she set it with the minutes. At the particular minutes, her product, this button here in her product somewhere to show it up. So that you could actually in make the purchase. Okay. I don't know what minute she said it to, and I don't want to spend. You know, if you guys want, if anybody want to take a look at this, I could always send it to you. But it's supposed to, I think, set it at th the third minutes or whatever. And there's three button coming up with three, three link to buy the product from her. Okay. So that's how you leave with product. I hope that helps. And Nas, you have another one to show? Yeah, I'll quickly show the one, the other one when it comes to the business, if you're leading with your opportunity. You've got to figure out who you want to attract first of all, obviously. If you want to attract leaders, then what do leaders want? They want education, they want to, you know, to really make this business successful, if you like. For me, you need to know, sorry, I'm not even making sense. I want to only work with people that are open to learn skills and um, are coachable, right? So my lead magnet is going to get people ready for that. So I've got information just similar to Candice. She's, she's got something like a PDF that will help a marketer engage um, their posts. So killer engagement posts she's got on there. Somebody who's interested in getting better, right? Same here for me is I'll be giving somebody a three steps lead magnet that will teach them the three main stages when it comes to online marketing. Most people are, are you know, they don't know about this and you probably you guys have already opted into this, but this is my current ebook. So this is me sharing with somebody and this could be anybody. This could be somebody that isn't even in network marketing that wants to start off a business. It could be somebody that's in network marketing but is pretty much lost doesn't know how to get started properly or maybe has been in and, and left, whatever it is, they are going to have the educated start. If they find this ebook bit too much, too complicated, that I, I can't do this business, then that means they are not going to be my prospect. They're not going to go through the funnel. Okay, now, um, I could opt in, but my goal for this funnel is to give them some, like a written report, but also get them on the phone. Oh, come on. So I don't know if I can opt in. I've opted in so many times. But hey, so they will get a message from me. And my goal is going to be to get them on the phone so I can figure out how I can help them, right? They will get the ebook in their inbox. Uh, hopefully I'll pause this. And my neck, I'm going, to, I'm going to take them through the next stages. So you can have, you know, recipes, right? A recipe PDF where you're giving them an intro, you know, welcoming them in, appreciating them that they've opted in, and then you can direct them to a call, right? So you can do the same as uh, what I'm doing here. And Julie's the one that wasn't working. Her funnel was the same. She had a book your call here. So she wanted to speak to her prospects about their skin type, um, you know, and help them figure out the best products for their skin type and tone. That was her um, funnel. Okay, so similar to mine. So they would... Listen to my uh, video quickly and go to their email to get the ebook. So they will not go in here, it will go into their email. So if, if they do put in the wrong email, they will have to go back and put the right one in. So they would book a call. This is the next stage to it and is linked to, to my schedule. Okay. And um, that's my purpose of, of having this funnel. You need to know your purpose. You might not want this site, you know, to, to call them. You might want to just keep them on Messenger or follow up with them on email. Uh, but that's my purpose to get anyone that comes in on the phone. Okay. Um, and like Candice, I will get a list. I don't want to show this too much. But I would get a list of my prospects here and their numbers as well. And I will just um, 
add conversations that I've had here so I can carry on my relationship with them and um, see where they are. Are they ready to purchase? If they're not, then I can follow up with them and I'll know where they are in their journey, in their sales process journey, because not everybody will sign up straight away. Okay, one or two conversations is good. It's a good number um, to, to close people into whatever you've got to offer. Um, but you need to have a system to follow up with. So this is a more of a business type of a, um, a lead magnet that will educate somebody on online marketing, network marketing, so they can get the right start. And um, it avoids lazy people that just want to click buttons and get in, okay? Um, and they will get this in their email inbox. And um, I'm done with this one, Candice. Do you, I'll take it over to you and you could quickly go through. Yeah. And the next stage and you guys are you so far do you understand the lead magnets and that you can do this with anything at all like literally anything like crazy things like i don't know <laughs> vegan uh, cakes anything anything I mean, like, yeah. toys i know kids anything. kids do it with toys like well, which are the best toys for i don't know anything i'm just making things up now but so, anything you just need to know your target Based, yes, you need to know your target audience. You need to know what is it that they need. What, what, what problem can you solve for them? And once you identify what problem you could solve for them, then you could develop something simple to give it away. Like I know that a lot of, a lot of people that are trying to build a business, is they're struggling to get engagement on their, on their news feed. And that's why I developed this. And this is, this is the, uh, the, the, the PDF that my friend, she created, the, the funnel that I just showed you earlier, this is what she created. It's a PDF file, talk about this whole biozang stuff. So basically that's it. You, she identified the, 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 the problems out there and then she showed it out there. So this is what, this is the product base and what I have and Nas have is business builder, okay? Now, some of you probably come in still having trouble. You, you are still having trouble trying to identify your target audience or your branding and everything, let alone to come up with something to, to, um, to, to work on. Now, I know, I don't know about Nas, because Nas and I, we just met, but Nas have, we know each other pretty well, but I don't know where she's coming from. When I first got in, I have nothing to give away, but I still need to learn to do Facebook Live and generate leads whatsoever. So I'm gonna show you something that you know we use when we first started. And for most of you that are in this system, you know how to use, you, you, you may or may not know how to use this yet. I'm gonna show you. So with the platform that we have here, the company actually gave us license to give out um, 23 different training here and, and, and in the way that they do it is so, so smart. Not only they give out this free training to us, but they also help us to brand ourselves when I'm giving this out. So let's say all of you guys are trying to learn how to do Facebook Live whatsoever, right? And I say, I have this Facebook Live. So what those who are doing the, the Facebook Live, if I was doing a Facebook Live today and I wanna talk about why it's important to do a Facebook Live, I gave out some tips, some important things. I, my call to action, because we talk about the four parts of uh, video creation, right? I will stop with my video and say, hey, my name is Candace from createfreedomwithcandace.com. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever think about doing Facebook Live to grow your business? If so, you want to stick around with this, with, uh, stick around with me because I want to show you guys something that you could do to do to actually grow your business doing Facebook Live or how to get, get over the fear. So then the next step, you will share the content. And the call, call to action would be, you know what, there's a lot of things going on here I would like to share with you guys, but I can't do it all in this video, but I do have a free training for, for doing Facebook Live, if you want. It has, it's a free training, has 15 pages of PDF file that I could give it away if you want. You could drop in the comment, let me know that you want the, the video. So that's my call to action. When you ask me, for that call to action, basically, I will send you a link, and the link is actually attached to my name, and this is done by the company. I did not have to do anything right here. I do not do anything. It looks very professional, and in fact, the past two days, so many people have actually opted in this, 
this this video, this training and when you click on download you put in your name and information it will take you to the next page so this page right here it's called the capture page or the landing page right here you put your information in the landing page and then you go to the you opt it in you opt it in it will take you to a page where is it's called a thank you page so the company actually did uh, they did all of this and I don't have to do anything. It's very much brand to, me, brand to me, it's about me. It has three, uh, three steps. First step, you promise them to give you them a training and here's the training and there's a PDF file. The training is over an hour long. It's not one of those training that is 15 minutes and, if, and, and they say, you know, if you wanna know more, you need to purchase. No, this is a full length training and then you actually learn something. The second step is teaching you, talking about getting more leads for the business. What I like about the third step here is say, do you want to work with me? This is where you can link your whatever, your business site. Not so much a business site. I, I never encourage you guys to put in the business site. But if you have a blog, which is a great way to do. You have a blog, you send them to the blog, and that's where you could showcase your expertise. I have a link to my business page on um, Facebook because that's where I do most of my work. But it's very much branding me. When it comes down to it, it's all about me. Even though the company is the one that prepared, put giving this away, but it's very much about branding me. It's everything about me. Okay, go to my page. And, and when you get down to the bottom, this is also branding you. If they see what they like, they could actually contact me. Even though this is giving away, like even though this is all about um, giving away a training, but it's all about me putting, putting myself out there too. So when I, when I follow up with them, so let's say it's one of you guys opted into this, when I picked up the call to call you, I will actually say, hey, this is Candace from createfreedomwithcandace.com. I saw that you picked up a training from me. I just want to see how you're doing and what's going on with you. What, you know, then you could start developing that relationship. That's when you follow up to identify what is their need. Okay? So that is one of the one of these things that we have with this platform. That you know, when, when I first started it, I did not have anything to give it away. I, I gave these away to generate leads for my business. And also, I learned a lot about marketing from these training here. I actually personally watch some of them, and I take notes, and then I provide value. Some of you wonder, where did Nas and I learn all of this marketing skill from? We learn it from here, basically. You know, doing training here, listen to this here. We learn all of this from here. I did my very first webinar by going through here, pick one, one training that I like, and I study, then I turned that into my very first webinar, and then I, I did my first uh, lead magnet based on something that I learned from here. I, create, I use what, what, what's presenting here, and then I turned that into my own stuff. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah, I used um, Prospect and Playbook was one of my first ones. So we have some question. Let's see. Ada Luke got a question. He always get question. Let's see. <laughs> I can't see. I that. have two lists. Hold on one second. I gotta move it up so I can see this comment. Okay, so uh, do you maintain several lists for different lead magnet? Um, so if you are using if you are using the autoresponder. All right, so let me go. So we uh, we show you how to we show you how how to how you could have a lead magnet, and then we show you the customer relationship management where it uh, storage all of your 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 leads, and then we invest into something called an autoresponder, right? An autoresponder it's an email system. So right now I have over so look at right here I have over four hundred. 43 email instead of clicking on typing on every single one I could just come in here and click on create message 
and I write one email and it was sent to all of these 43 people. Or I could actually um, create a series of email and, and, and set it in the schedule so that it could send out, you could schedule every day or you could schedule as every other day, okay? And how do you manage all those lists? Well, I have a few different lists, right? Every time I create a new lead magnet, I create a new list because the action item is different. Like with the, with the when, we, when I'm using this, I basically just have them opt in and they get the training right away. But with my 20 killer post, I set it up as, I, I set it up as once they get that 20 killer post, once, once they opt it in, I will have an email send it out to them automatically. No matter, it doesn't matter if they're going out, you know, they opt in today, they will get an email in the next two minutes or they, they get it last week, as soon as they opt in, they get, they get it the next two minutes that they receive. So I create different lists and this is how I manage my, my lead magnet. Did, did that help? Did that answer your question? Okay. Uh, how many key lead magnets do you have? I assume. How many key lead magnets do you do I have? As of right now, I have two. As you're growing, as you grow, you want to, you, as you're growing, right? You want to create multiple one, at least two, because you want to test it out which one better, which one works best. And then as you're growing, you start learning more and more um, what your target audience want, and you have new tar a new audience coming in, their needs is different. You really need to learn to listen to your target audience so that you could create lead magnet that they need. I create the, um, the autopilot lead generation mag uh, lead magnet. That one did very, very well. But when I created 20 killer posts, that one just went over the roof because that was the struggle. And I have been studying that. I have been watching people's posts and profile. I knew that was the big deal for a lot of people. They were struggling getting engagement on their posts. And that's why I created that one. And that one, actually, if I want to sell it now, I could actually turn that into a product because it, it has been so popular. A lot of people have gotten it. Some people men, uh, like laminate it so that they could use it. And if you develop a good lead magnet and it works out very, very well, ask people for a testimonial. If you ever want to turn that into product, if you could do it too. Okay. All right, let's see. So Ada looks saying, Ella, Ella saying, one master list. Now, Candice has got loads of lists. Now, I'm Diane Hockman. Okay, I've got one list, one main list, and I'm creating another one that's just for members. So that's it. Everybody, because I'm only leading with business, I've got no products to sell, which is amazing <laughs> for me. So I've got everybody that, that comes into doesn't matter which lead magnet, they got one, they got one email from me, a welcome email, and then after that I just because everybody's business, they want they want to, they want help with engagement, they want help with platforms, so I keep one. You can do one, but you're quite techy, you can deal with all these. I'm not, I'm just one thing, I'm simple. So can I mean Tina's asked about travel. You can, you know, you need to figure Figure out what problems do travelers have, right? People that want to travel the world or maybe go on holiday. Who do you want to serve? Do you want to serve families that, you know, that, that might not be traveling as much? Who do you want to serve? Travel is, is huge. I mean, we've got, um, I don't know if you follow the Adventure Partners, Candice, but they, they target couples. Yes. So they want to help couples um, travel more, that they don't have to be, you know, with, um, not with, but like, uh, t you know, attached to a house or whatever. They can travel as they want, still build a business. But you need to know who you want to target when it comes to traveling. A good case could be families. So you can see what, what do families fear when it comes to traveling, taking young kids. You can do a PDF on that to help them overcome those fears and problems. And um, so you can educate them to say, no, you're okay, you can travel. And this is what you would do if you travel to Australia. This is where you would get your SIM card. Um, this is where you would, you know, um, you know, little little tricks and, and things that you can help your audience to travel better. You, you need to figure that out. Like, that's your niche. 
this is why we said you need to lead with a purpose. You need to study your audience. I mean, it took me and Candice a long time to study our audience. We still study, which which is said. I mean, recently she made the PDF on killer engagement posts, right? Because she knows people are struggling with that type of in that area. Okay, so you need to know where does your audience struggle with. So could you have a lead magnet with an actual product to ship like a sample? You can, can't you? You've got to link it in. I mean, you could, you could, could be created. If I were you, if you, you have actual product to ship, you could always be creative. Set, set, give our PDF file and then, with, you know, within there, within there, you know, when they opted in, I would send them a, a email where you could ask them for the shipment, uh, sh uh, the shipping address. You could always gen, you could always pre-read in the email, send it to them, say that you know. And of course, your lead magnet have to make it very, very clear that this is a lead magnet. This is, you know, you opted in one little bit about the product, right? Then you could, you know, in the email, you ask them for the shipping address so that you could ship the uh, the stuff to them. Does it make sense? Okay. Mm, let's see. I don't understand what Ella said. Does the emails in the autoresponder grow forever? Yes, it could grow. As you keep you keep generating leads. Your CRM system it's keep growing as if you keep generating leads. But here's the deal. As you're growing, your email list grow, you need to start really really evaluate who are the people that actually interact with you because you have to really get rid of some people you can't have some people in there on your list forever and not doing anything yeah so we from time to time we do go through our email list and get rid of people when you get to where um you could actually say you know what i really don't need to have you're not into you're not engaging with me i don't need you to be on the list because you need to make room for people who engage with you right all right so any so the more you generate the more people that opt in is, is that what you mean okay the more people opt in yeah your list keeps on growing mm -hmm. did we answer your question any other no yeah oh, okay can you hear me yeah okay no it's more like you know when you have you know, as you build in your list you have you put them on like an autoresponder, responder and so if you keep creating more and more content in your autoresponder so that you can like build your autoresponder so it goes forward ahead of time so for instance you know you put them on the list and maybe you want to set a week ahead in advance so that you keep emailing them every two or three days you keep building that list ahead of time to get some content on a regular basis well that's the whole point of having autoresponders so that you could have you know so that you don't have to sitting at home every single day typing out email. Right, right. So yeah. Okay. You could you because when I first started it, no, I don't. When I first started it, I did a forty days of email series. So once you opt in, the next forty days you will get an email from me. And That's then, how I did it. And did you do it the first five days being a, a constant email and? Every other day after that, or how did you? And after that, I actually slowed down, and now I'm actually in the thing. What I do now is, I I email. I'm kind of catching up with what uh, Diane Hoffman is doing, like a story type of email marketing, because I'm kind of learning as we go. So I'm I'm emailing them. I want to say once or twice a week. I am not big fan of email marketing. It's too slow for me in a way, <laughs> but. But it's a good way for me to market when I have a product or when I have a, you know, I launch something big, right? Like for some of you guys thinking about launching a coaching program or you writing a book, if someone here is planning to write a book, having a email list is great. Because once in a while you could kind of, you kind of, you could kind of give them a sneak peek of what's coming on, what's, what's going to happen in your book. And then you know, a month, two months, a month before your book release, you want to start sending emails so that they know that you're releasing day. That's why for author and anybody that's building a project, you want to have that list. 
to keep them in loop of what you're doing. Okay, anybody else? Rose said that we skip her question. Let's see where's Rose's question. When I create my target audience, do I put those people in a group so I can send them content? You don't, you don't put anybody in group if they don't want to. You have your target audience, you keep your target audience on your page. That's where you're providing the content. I, don't, I, I mean, I have group, but I don't add people in there unless they ask for Right? That's yeah. one of my big pet peeves is do not add me to any group without asking me. Well, you can do rules. I mean, the, what you've asked is probably what we teach in the academy, but that's foundational things. So not here, it will be relevant, but you can have a PDF to say to, to, to for your prospect to opt into your group. I've got that option and whoever wants to opt into my group can do that but I don't physically add anybody until they want me to. Mm -hmm. The whole point is that it's best, this is coming to a little prospecting. It's best for, for you to market in the way that people's asking for it. When you go and tell them and give them the stuff, they don't value it as much. But if you will market in a such way that they ask you, then you put them in the position that they need to get what you have. And that's how you market. You, that's how you should market. How are we doing so far, guys? We good? Any other question? No question? All right. So um, I know we didn't give you guys a test today yet. Um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put, I don't wanna give it here because not everybody's on here. So I probably put a test um, in the group in a little bit before I start driving. All right, guys. If you guys don't have any question, this will conclude our training and let us know if you have other questions. Uh, what this, this will be posted in the group as soon as, um, it will not be happening for the next three hours because I am driving. So <laughs> you guys have to wait until tonight, okay? <laughs> So that I could post that. And um, if you're still not sure, if you have not scheduled a time to talk to me or Nas, you need to do that because once this five days is over, we will not, and I really think that, um, really think that you guys should schedule a time to talk to Nas or myself so that you could actually start getting more clarity on how, what, how do you want to lead your business. You know, everything, you know, you, you guys learned a lot today and, and this past two days, but you really need to learn how to take the, the right action to move forward with your business. Okay. Definitely. And this is, this is marketing. What we've given you, you can either get a funnel or you, you know, find, find out how we use it and, you know, have somebody to support you through the process. It's probably better. Um, but yeah, we leave it to that and Candice will post something for you guys to do. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye.